It's Friday afternoon and on my right. Today, we're at uh, my 10th BIM rant and the last BIM rant for this series. We'll, we'll take a little break. And I thought that I would leave uh, my last, most controversial uh, post or BIM rant till last. And today, I'm going to talk about the the naming or what could we call it? The introduction of words once again that really have no relevance to the industry. And I want to, today I want to talk about digital engineering. <laughs> and I don't understand why here in Australia we're so fixated on creating new terminology all the time. Um, I, 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 my gut feeling is, is that uh, a lot of people uh, here are delivering projects in the infrastructure space and they kind of felt that BIM wasn't an appropriate word. Now, in building information modeling, we actually need to treat building as a verb, not as a noun. So building information modeling actually is consistent across any built asset, no matter what type of asset it actually is. It relates to buildings, it relates to infrastructure. The other key thing is, is that, you know, the, the protection of the word architect is something that obviously I'm very passionate about as a registered architect here in Queensland. I had to go to university to study to be an architect. How do the engineers feel out there that all of a sudden there's these, uh, you know, digital engineers out there? It's kind of almost as funny as solution architects. I kind of laugh about that as well because, you know, we have these people in the IT space that think architects are an appropriate term to steal from the architectural profession. Um, what is it about people that think that they need to create a new term that doesn't align with any standard whatsoever just because they don't like the word BIM? It, it really kind of grates me. It's like everyone always has to create these new terms because of the fact that they just have this level of dissatisfaction or discomfort in using a term that's already existing. I even take issues these days with people being called BIM managers. The ironic thing is, is that essentially my professional training brought me up as a trained architect where my role is actually to coordinate a whole project. And all of a sudden... That's a specialist role because, you know, the architects have decided that they don't want to do it anymore. And, and, and that's not the um, issue with the industry itself. It's actually probably a bigger issue that I take with within my own architectural profession itself. Um, I, I even find it kind of ironic that we have things such as BIM coordinators. Um, that's a role that someone had in the past. It's kind of almost as funny as, you know, many years ago, I think it might almost be a decade ago now, I, I wrote a blog post on, on a lot of people asking for Revit architects. And, you know, we never used to ask for a rotoring architect or an architect that could draw with their hand. Like, I think terminology has a very powerful thing. And when we see as an industry that we're struggling to see adoption from people, uh, it's because we're creating all this crazy terminology that doesn't actually exist in standards. There's nowhere in the ISO standard where digital engineering is actually explained. Ironically, um, a BIM manager actually isn't explained within the ISO standard either. It's actually just called information management. And from my perspective, I kind of think moving forward, I think it should be, you know, people have roles either as an engineer or as a architect or a contractor. That's their role. And the people that come along to provide the assistance could be the information managers. Or we could go back to the kind of terms that people still use today in terms of CAD managers and BIM managers. But I just think that we need to move on from this kind of, you know, new terminology. Every single kind of week, there's a new term that comes out. It's, it's the same with digital twin branding. Digital twins are out there claiming... Um, half of the uses that BIM actually do still. And it's kind of ironic that it seems to be the, that it seems to be a kind of a marketing trend where we need to create new terminology. So I think we've got to move on. We've got to move back and, and, and stop making up terminology. And, and sorry for those people out there that think that digital engineering is actually a thing. I don't think it's a thing at all. It's actually engineering. And the process that you're taking is just a new process that you 
would have taken in the past, but you're just implementing new tools in the way, you know. Um, it's no different to the past. You're just basically taking tools that are more modern to uh, complete a task uh, to deliver a project in the end. So I hope that everyone's enjoyed this, this series. I've thoroughly enjoyed the commentary along the way uh, and the comments and feedback. I was actually disappointed actually not to see so much more debate, but I'm hoping that this rant um, generates some debate uh, and conversations across the industry because I actually think that it's a problem people creating all of this new terminology um, just for the sake of doing so because they don't like one that's there, uh, negating the, the benefits that we have as an industry uh, in having standardised terminology. Kind of ironic, right? Let's create a new standard again. But um, I'm sure I'll catch up with a lot of you uh, at events across Australia in the next 12 months and uh, you know we can, we can talk about the challenges that we face within the industry and trying to make this a better um, industry by kind of working to standards, working together, removing the jargon and providing the actual, the better outcomes that we're supposed to be providing for the community and the asset owners at the end of the day, right? It's not about just creating, um, you know, digital waste for the fun of it, right? Which I think sadly is where we are at in Australia. But anyway, I hope you enjoy your weekend and uh, until the future. I will uh, catch you again for a future BIM rant sometime in the future. It might be a random pop-up one day when uh, someone presents something to me. Now, the key thing is I've still got about another half a dozen written down on my list that I do want to attack, but uh, we'll park them for the time being and, uh, and we'll uh, see you again soon.